No! Oh my, he just went in the woods. What is he doing? Hello friends, and welcome to the next episode of trucks that we think are extremely nice, but are actually clapped out pieces of junk that have a rebuilt title that we didn't tell the buyer about. I bought this second gen a couple months ago. Now, I ask, I always ask, now I have proof here. I always ask, does this truck have any problems whatsoever? I don't care if it's, I don't care if it's low on turn signal bulb filament. I wanna know about it, okay? I say, is there any problems whatsoever? No. There's no problems. We got about 500 yards down the road, long story short, this puppy broke down. All the codes. T1693. Ah! Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! So I said, yo, what the freak is going on? He didn't know. My hauler, I was like, I, I was like, hey, can I get the title? Why does it say rebuilt right on the front of it? Anyways, the bank owned this truck. I don't think the guy owned it. And then he says he's gonna, right, he's gonna sue me. He's, he's threatening to sue me because his license plate was on the truck in the video. So I said, I never seen that license plate in my life. I fell off the going down the road, I think. Probably, uh, someone probably stole it. I haven't seen it in a while. Anyways, he was threatening to sue me and I said, Okay, so anyways, apparently this was zero issues, okay? That was part of the zero issues. Maybe this was part of the zero issues, I don't know. But I'm glad some 16 year old kid didn't get this as their first truck and uh, get a loan from the bank and be stuck with it because they would have been screwed over. Like, usually that's something you tell people, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, that's usually something you tell people when you sell a truck. If it has a rebuilt title, that's like something to mention, you know? But anyways, this is no big deal. It's not like it affects me at all. We bought this 53 foot semi trailer. It's brand new. There's no problems with it at all. We got a Swiffy trailer. That's right, Swiffy trucking, best in ass. So we put a fifth wheel hitch on this. We cut the bed off, so we have a flat bed. We accidentally busted the back window out. God damn it! So this would be the first video on the new farm here. And I'm really excited to break this place in. Literally. Anyways, I bought new land, not used land. I don't get why anyone buy used land. But, dude, that's like less than a mouse could pee. Dude, that's nothing. Oh, yeah.
smokes. Oh, I hit the tree? Yeah, you took out the whole tree. I didn't see it. That tree is like this big. Oh, I hit all those. I didn't see it. still running honestly like it doesn't <laughs> going over those bumps are like the front end's getting air when i hit the rocks the track bar is only bolted on this side so it's like peeling off of the other underside a little bit i don't know what the you think it's a u-joint popping but it's just u-joint in the back oh it's like level my drive shaft is level it's squatted so much my motor mount bracket hasn't broken yet <laughs>
What is he doing? What are you doing? Hey, Cody, you can stop now. No, he's not stopping. Man, I think that's it. When I was a kid, my parents always said, and they didn't say, they just referred to, everyone always referred to digging to China, right? Everyone always, when you're a kid, you're digging your sandbox. Oh, you're gonna dig to China? Yeah. That's what I was trying to do. I would dig like 10 foot deep holes with a shovel and my dad would be like, put the dirt back in the sandbox. It was like all of the yard and piles and stuff. I thought that you could dig to China and you come, you come out and there'd be Asian people with rice ready. That's what I thought. and. I just found out, I looked on the map the other day, I was just really bored. I looked, I zoomed all the way out on Google Earth, right? I spin the earth around. Did you know that if you dig through the ground in the Midwest, if you dr dig all the way through the core and out the other side, you know what you get? You come up on the bottom of the, the Pacific Ocean. You don't dig to China, you dig to the Pacific. It's impossible, you can't dig to China unless you're from like Hawaii or something. You can't. So if you're thinking of digging to China, don't because you won't come out on land. You'll come out in like the Mariana Trench at the bottom. I didn't realize that, so I'm glad I didn't. But if you would, the, the water would just pour in and flood your hole on the other side. So don't do that. Anyways, it's just kind of disappointing. I found that out. You can't actually dig to China. <laughs> but anyways, um, I've just been wanting to get that off my chest. Um, which means we're going to have to fill in our hole. Crap. Well, thanks for watching. We're probably just going to leave this here. And we'll come back to the second gen videos in like six months or something when it's all grown up. I don't know, whatever. We'll just leave it here. If someone wants it, come get it. If you have it, come take it. You can get past the barbed wire fence and the other 17 layers. And John. <laughs> um, <coughs> ticks again. <laughs> I going to say something important. What was I going to say? I'm going to say something. I just wanted to remind you all that I have a I have a thousand dollar shirt for sale. It costs a thousand dollars. Yes, it's just a regular t-shirt. costs a thousand dollars cash. And you can also do four payments of 250 or 199, whatever, whatever adds up to a thousand. You could do four payments and you can do layaway on it or whatever. But if you want that, it's on my website. It just says this shirt costs a thousand dollars on it. So everyone knows instead of getting like Gucci, you just get the thousand dollar shirt. And I was like, well, he spent a thousand dollars. They don't have to guess. And you can be like 1400 or 750, but this one's obviously a thousand. But if you want, if you want the thousand dollar shirt, go get it. I've already sold literally like 180 of them. Is it illegal to fake numbers? If I think it is, yeah. I sold three of them. So if you want one, then I would have sold more than three.